Okay, example six. This is a new example. I haven't done first time I'm looking at it. Hopefully I don't make any mistakes. We got air in a bottle at atmospheric pressure. So I'm going to say P1 is atmospheric pressure, which we'll say is 1.01 .01 to the power of 5 pascals. We have the temperature 1, or temperature initial, is 30 degrees Celsius. The cork has a cross-sectional area of 2.30 centimeters squared. And the beachcomber places the bottle over fire, figuring out that well, the increased pressure will cause the cork to pop out. So eventually, all right, we will have a T final. I'll call this initial, I guess. All right, T final will be 99 degrees Celsius. And we want to know what was the pressure in the bottle just before the cork left. So P final is what we're looking for. Now hopefully you realize that we need to always convert our temperatures into Kelvin. So 30 plus 273 will give you three, 303 Kelvin. And 99 plus 273 is going to give you 372 Kelvin. Okay, so for part A, what is the pressure just before the cork left? I'm just going to use the ideal gas law. So P initial, V initial, T initial, right, equals, and then I'll just divide it by the same expression again for the final state conditions. So what can we assume is constant? Well, I'm going to assume that there's no leak and it's sealed, so the number of moles cancel out. I'm also going to assume the gas constant is obviously doesn't change. And what else? Well, the, the volume must stay the same. It's the same bottle, right? So that's not going to change either. So let's cancel out the volume, right? So we end up with um, pressure initial over pressure final equals T initial over T final. Okay, so pressure initially um, would be the atmospheric pressure, I'm assuming, right? So 1.01 .01 to the power of 5, right? all over pressure final equals 303 Kelvin all over 372 Kelvin. And if we rearrange and solve, I will get an answer of 1.24 times 10 to the power of 5 Pascals. Okay, so now on to part B, which is, if we remember the stuff that we did in fluids earlier. The pressure is force over area, right? And I guess you got to kind of visualize this bottle. Let's just say it's like a canister and there's like a lid right here, right? There's the lid. And as you heated this up, you had a pressure inside that was bigger than the pressure outside of it, right? And so that force of friction is really due to the change in pressure multiplied by the area. So I'm just using the formula of pressure equals force over area, but the force of friction is the difference between those two pressures, because that's what's keeping it from just about to pop, right? So the force of friction would be really the, the higher pressure minus the lower pressure. So the higher pressure would be 1.24, so pressure final minus pressure initial, multiplied by the area. So let's continue here. So that's going to be 1.24, all right, 10 to the power of 5, and this is also 10 So I'll just write minus 1.01. .01. That's multiplied by 10 to the power of 5. Okay, that's my change in pressure. Multiplied by my area. Now, I, I should note that the area, remember Pascals are in newtons per meter squared. So that means that my area here is not in the right units. I need to change that to meter squared, right? All right, so remember that one meter is 100 centimeters, but we want one meter squared, so we have to square that. So that's really going to be 2.3 to the power of, well, that's 10 to the power of, really, squared. So 10 to the power of negative 2 meters squared. Did I do that right? No, no, not squared. Actually, it should be 10 to the power of negative 4. Remember, 100 squared is, like, really dividing by 10,000. So... We're going to multiply all this expression by 2.3 to the power of negative 4. I'm really running out of space in here. But this is in 
newtons per meter squared, and this is in, I'm running out of space, meter squared in there. So, pulling out your calculator, hopefully I did this right. Yeah, a little bit messy, but it, yes, it is correct. 5.29 newtons, right? And that's the force of friction exerted between really the lid and the side walls of the container. All right, and that's it for example number six.